Hey guys, uh, out here in my garage, and I've been work and I've been working on this bike today. I got some steel. I got like six feet, and I only use like five, four and a half. So what I did first is I cut off these shitty little fucking back motherfucker tire fucking holders, and then uh, I got this and I finished welding that piece on there. And then I, I just put a little beads on it after fully weld that part. So um yeah, and then I uh, then I welded a piece of f uh, flat steel onto the end of that, and then I welded this piece of three quarter inch square tubing. It's about six inches long, comes up about three and a half inches from the tube. And then I have a bar. Now he's gonna Actually, measure six inches exactly. And he's get. And this bar is about 18 inches or 20 inches or something. 19 and a half. 19 and a half inches. And then I welded this bar on here for support. How long? 17 inches. Well. So that's 12 so. inches. And then this looks like about 10. Nine. So that's about nine I'm inches. And then my motor fits in here. I would put it in there, but I don't feel like fits in that space about uh 13 and a half foot down so yeah the recoil the end comes about here and then the valve comes right about there about an inch away about an inch away i gotta redo the plate because that's a that's a different plate because that's about not that's not long enough and this is for the other yeah. motor so i gotta make another one so uh yeah that's what i have on here so the motor fits in there i'm probably just gonna weld a seat on here or something I probably need a welding the, seat too. Yeah, it's also a good welding seat, and you almost broke my ten dollar tape measure. Okay. So, uh, so this is the center, and then I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna have a pivot here and a pivot here for my rear end, and then I'm gonna make a shock support off this so it can attach. So it's gonna be off that main tube, and the and the bar is gonna come out about eighteen inches, I think. Interesting. And I'm gonna add some uh, pill block bearings or something. I'm put a top bar and all that. So I have to get some more steel. I have to get like six more feet or so. And um, so yeah, that's how far I got. So here's just a little little view. There you go. So yeah, and this is the motor, the gas tank. Um, he gave me an idea. If instead of mounting on top center, I'm going to mount off to the side, so that's what I'm going to do. The ass tank. Get the ass tank. The oil reservoir. And then I got to notch this out for my oil drain plug because it doesn't fit because it the sticks out. The oil reservoir. Ah, reservoir. Yep, that's what they get. That's uh, what I'm not sure if I can put the stock muffler on. I'm not sure. I probably could. Put straight pipe. Okay. Straight pipe, probably it. They're illegal, so make it more illegal. But I want to put uh, the muffler so it's quiet so cops don't come again. Well, when I'm riding so around. So, from this bar to here, it's probably going to be about another 18 inches or so. Here's a little tape measure Something view. Like 18 so, it's going to come to about there. That's pretty pretty long, but... It's going to be like a... Uh, 52 inches. Right? Yeah, about Total. that long. It'll be pretty long. By the time I'm done, it'll probably be like 6 feet like my mini bike. With the tire and everything on there. And I gotta put the front tire. I'm just gonna use uh, my off road tire that I got off the bike. I got front suspension. That's that, gonna be this long? Uh, probably, That's six pr feet. probably five feet long. It's gonna be that long? It'll probably be that long. So yeah. We're making a drag too, Then I'm gonna add a, uh, a disc brake on the back. And uh, that's pretty much about it. So far, I got. You're making it hubless. Hubless tire would be cool. So, guys, just uh, see you later.